So Community STEAM is an attempt to revisit the wider purpose of education. So um, at high school, I think we do a really good job in preparing students for their VCE exams and learning a lot of stuff um, in each subject. Um, but Community STEAM is, is, an, is an attempt to, to broaden that lens on what education is and think about the other types of things we want our students to learn um, while they're at school. We um, take kids out of their other classes for one day a week for a semester to engage in real life projects, community connected, to work on something that they've chosen that is connected to one of the three themes, either sustainability, social justice or wellbeing. It came from the community's priority that they thought STEM and STEAM were important things. And then when we started discussing that more deeply with both the teachers and the students and the community, that we wanted to, and again, as Karen said, broaden what STEM and STEAM meant into a, into a much more, well, what we call place-based, but, but really a locally responsive um, approach to STEM and STEAM. The things I love most about community STEAM are just seeing kids get really excited about their projects and also get to see adults take their ideas mm. seriously and get excited about their projects and celebrate them. Um, what's satisfying as a teacher is you get to kind of guide them and facilitate that process and help them um, navigate their way through those challenges. And I think most groups end up succeeding. Um, whether the project is, is sparkling and amazing at the end is kind of not the point. It's all about kind of mm. those conversations you're having with them throughout the process. And we might be constrained by what we're doing as a teacher and it's got to fit into a certain format or, or a different a certain way of doing things but they're sometimes not as constrained as we are and they've got some really creative ideas about different ways to present their ideas to their peers they get along with their peers quite well we're doing our steam project right now which is the progress flag but we're doing it as a mural when you walk in we're setting it right up when kids walk in so when you walk in the class, people can be like, oh my God, it's the progress flag. And like people who are LGBTQ can be like, oh, I feel really accepted. Like I can feel warm and welcome. Like I'm accepted here and it's a lovely school. And we've got another like mural and it's going to be a like a ribbon and it's going to have like different awarenesses like cancer, diabetes, OCD, OCD and, like different awarenesses. It's like certain people can like understand what the different awarenesses are and everything. We decided to make bamboo straws out of bamboo we found in the back of the farm. And we, we really, we didn't want like plastic straws, obviously, but paper straws just disintegrate in your mouth and get that really yucky feeling. And yeah, in the end, you can't actually suck things out of them. We were thinking of a solution for it and we found bamboo. Our defining statement was basically make people in the LGBTQIA plus community feel more comfortable in the school. So we are planning to create a hangout space in the DATS building. It will try to make people want to hang out with other people, even if they're not the exact same people. So I chose sustainability out of the three options because I'm quite passionate about the environment and I found that sustainability it takes in and captures a lot of the environment's well-being and helping the environment. Over Wednesday we have the opportunity to be outside to learn about plants even especially during term one we, we learn about like native cultures, native plants so it's just a really good experience overall. It was mainly like just a massive learning task so I think uh, it's about like teamwork and managing projects and places and like ma making big projects that are like actually that make a difference and like the management part of that. It's a different environment and like you get to like learn new skills that like you wouldn't learn in like a school setting. And it's really fun to just like explore different things and like get to do what you want to do. 
we're actually experiencing the things that we're learning about. Yeah, yeah. The best ones are always when students are engaged in the topic, so they, they bring a bit of knowledge themselves or an interest themselves, and that's always um, the best projects. It's when that intersect of knowledge of student and um, teacher and that interest um, you know, connects, that's, that's, that's the beautiful part of teaching and that's where you really get engaged. Wait, we're going to bring it around. One of the great opportunities of the Community STEAM program has been our collaboration with BU. We've had the opportunity to have a really great committed group of pre-service teachers come and uh, sort of live with us on Community STEAM Day. They've been able to sort of get to know students in a less formal environment and really um, sort of connect with the purpose of the, the program and the projects the kids are doing. And what we have is committed, um, interested adults in the room supporting all those projects, which is, you know, really helpful for us. So that, that partnership with BU has been a really um, a great opportunity um, that's come out of uh, this program. As pre-service teachers, um, we kind of step back. I would consider myself as like the mediator. So I'm just standing back, I'm giving them, you know, uh, suggestions. This is how you can make your project better. It's um, about connecting with the students and sort of already seeing what they want to learn and then helping bring that out. Yeah, it's very student-led learning and that's what I love about it, that the students are leading the way to make their own projects about the issues that they care about, the issues that impact them. Like the teachers, we're just there to facilitate that. And we're also there to learn because we're coming into this environment having not been teachers before. And I think we're learning a lot. And I've learned from stepping back and watching them and letting them, you know, take responsibility of their learning that they come up with some really fantastic ideas that I would never have thought of myself. So they're really creative and imaginative. And also observing the teachers, I've learned a lot because they're just so dedicated and they just put so much effort and thought into teaching their students and coming up with the best outcomes for them. To see all the projects, to be there from day one to now, see it come to life is such a proud moment and it's so rewarding, you know, and I feel like that's what motivates me to bring that kind of energy into my teaching career. This program has been an attempt to sort of stand back and take a wider lens and think about preparing young humans to be humans in the world um, as part of our purpose for education. One of the more important things about a project like Community STEAM or a program like Community STEAM is us recognising that this is really important and rigorous work to do at school, that this is not an add-on that we do if we've had enough time once we've finished our numeracy and our literacy. And I think, you know, being able to be both rigorous and challenging for our students, but also engaging and creative, um, is really replicating the sort of workplaces that they're going to want to go into, where they have um, the opportunity to solve really you know, complex problems. It's the skills that the, the workforce of the future are looking for. Mm -hmm.